of your own way. It may sound very elemental or second nature, but believe it or not, getting out of your own way is not as easy as it sounds, okay? Think about this, all right? We, as humans, we have fears. We may not want to admit that we have fears, but we do have fears. And oftentimes, we let those fears you're hold us back. You're standing in front of individuals or a group of people, and you're trying to get your point across and convey your message. You want to appear strong, confident. You want people to buy into what you're saying. Feel confident in what you're saying. Think about it's the this truth. for a moment. You ever want to go out for a promotion, but you decided not to because you thought, hmm, I'm not qualified. We found out, believe it or not that people are actually afraid to speak publicly. Can you believe that? You need to learn if you're going to get anywhere, you have to go for By what you want. Hands. How many of you are actually afraid to speak publicly, like I'm doing right now, in front of a group of people? If you want in? movement, you have to yeah, move. Just, okay. what about just about everyone. Right. So what we're going to talk about now is how you can kind of minimize some of that fear. We call that stage You fight. cannot okay. have anything different happen in your life if you continue to do the exact same thing you've been doing. That's not you going to happen. Use to help get over that stage fright. I, I see you. I see you. Exactly. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is So don't your let material. your fears stop you from getting what rehearse, you want. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. I want to make sure you understand that. People want to know a message that you're delivering pertains to them. You, you have the power to make the change you in your life. You know what you're talking about. Keep in mind, you are the expert of that topic. They're coming there to listen to what you have to say. If you want something different, you make it happen. You step out of your comfort zone. Of course, moving and changing is different. It's painful. Getting past your fears is painful, but it's necessary for you to grow. That's why it's called growing no, my pain. first line is going to be because if your nervousness starts out with, okay, how am I, what am I going to say first? How, what am I going to say? How am I going to get started? Believe me, once you get started, it starts to flow. You know what I'm talking about. Everyone great. knows what I'm talking about. Okay? You know what I'm talking Rest about. Rest and eat well. It may sound crazy, but believe it or not, you don't want to sit in front of, you don't want to be in front of a group of people and you're slumped over and you're kind of drowsy, you don't have any energy, because it takes a lot of energy. So you don't want to be drowsy and all of a sudden your stomach starts to growl and you're in front of people. <laughs> what can you, you do? with that. So I said the only way to get something different is right. to do something it's different. It's important that you establish credibility with that group that you're in front of. They want to know that you are a credible If you are stuck source. in your life personally, you're going to be stuck professionally. Let me Look say at again. that diagram. Did any of you know, how many of you realize that your body movements convey 55% of your message? They're your dream crushers or your naysayers. You're going to have those. I know some of you have those naysayers in your life. 55% of what I'm doing in my body is telling you some sort of message. You can never get anything different if you don't do different. Only 38% of your message is conveyed in your voice. And what we mean by that is the infliction. Whether you are talking very softly, whether you're talking very monotone, whether you're talking very sharply and curt to an individual, the voice gives Today, the message. Today, what I want to challenge you with, what I want to challenge you with, identify what you want out of life. What do you want out of life? Once you've written down what you want out of life, then I want you to figure out what are you afraid of that's preventing you from going there. What is 
and what is in your life right now that is preventing you? What are you afraid of that's making you not go for what you're looking for, what you want, what you desire? What are you afraid of? Then, after you've identified what you want out of life, what you're afraid of that's preventing you from getting there, I want you then, thirdly, to write down a roadmap, a plan on how you are going to achieve that. Writing a roadmap makes it real. Once I wrote that down, a light bulb clicked. And it became now, don't real just for me. say, this is what I need to do, this is what I want to do, this is how I'm going to do it. No, you have to write it down, it becomes real. Thank you.